Good morning guys, how's it going? You know, I was so tired last night, I just absolutely got to the tent, the guys went out for some dinner. I basically just crashed out. I was that tired. But this morning I am nice and refreshed and ready to go. It's a shame because it's a rest day. <laughs> um, for me I'm going to be doing about 60 miles today. Um, I'm heading up to a town called Ballycastle in North Mayo, which is where my granddad was born and raised before he came over to England. Um, so I want to, uh, last year we, oh, I think I've said before, last year we, uh, we held his funeral there and he was buried in the graveyard there, so I want to see if I can find the graveyard, let's go and see it. I believe it's all been done up nicely now because the ground's all bedded in. Um, and also see if I can get down to where is how, where the house was that he lived in. Well, the house that he built was. Let me see, you try and get some images of that. Anyway, so I've got to get off this island yet. Yeah, it's about another five or six kilometers just to go here before I get off the island and I shall be back see you soon bye so I believe I looked at a map earlier on so I've got a rough idea where I've got to go anyway I think I've got to head up towards Banger and then I'll take another turn in towards Ballinar If this road surface was a bit better, this would be an amazing road, just twisty, 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 twisty. Thing is, the speed limit for this road is uh, 100 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers uh, per hour, which I believe is around the uh, 60, 60 mile per hour. I think it'd be a bit tough to ride here, uh, hundreds. Or drive it even in a car. And when you get turning like that. Oh, oh. Sheep! Bah! So this is the Ballycroy National Park. I think it heads over to there where the um, sort of more mountain hills and mountains are. I can't believe how much of sort of it's a desolate place out here. There's like nothing. Well almost nothing. Not too far away now. Um, I remember there you got this uh, valley here. And then basically we enter his town. Seems to have a bit of an issue with my Euro with my traveller's card at the moment. Um, every Wednesday, well, I used it this morning at the petrol garage, worked fine. I used it last night at the campsite, worked fine. But I've used it in a couple of ATMs, well, went to a shop to get some food. No, didn't work in there. Went to a, an ATM, didn't work on there. Went to another ATM, it's not working on there. I don't. But all them ATMs are provided by the same company, so I don't know if that company is having a few issues at the moment. I know I've got money there, so that's not the problem. I'm sure I've got money there. And here we have it, the Atlantic Ocean. 
north again. If I'd followed the uh, Wild Atlantic Way signs, it would have brought me. It would have brought me to the same town anyway. But it would have brought me right round Bell Mullet, and it's just a bit too much of a journey there. This route was a bit more of a direct route. This church here, apparently, my granddad helped build it. It's pretty cool. Now, if I remember rightly, we just need to go down here. Right out in the distance there is Down Patrick Head and Dunbristy. Well, they're one and the same. Anyway, this is graveyards. I'm going to show off the bike here. And be gone. I'm never quite sure what to say. Yeah, you know, should you say anything at the grave or? I'm never quite sure because, you know, for me, my, my, my grandparents were very religious. But I've never been brought up to be religious. I, uh, it just wasn't my sort of, it's just never been my thing. There's a wall along here somewhere. which marks the town where my granddad grew up. This rings a bell, this rings a bell. There we go, cabin down. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this town marker marks where my granddad grew up. You should be able to see his house, but it might just be overgrown. I can't see it. I'll be looking in the right wrong direction. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye. So this house up here, that's the house my granddad built. Not much of it left now. <laughs> and I really can't remember how to get up there. There's a road that basically goes up. I think it is the one next, uh, in between them two houses. But it's not the bestest roads to ride up.